tonight, the South Carolina Senate is considering a bill that would enforce regulations on wildlife rehabilitators. Those places offer help to raccoons, possums and squirrels throughout the state of South Carolina. Our Sam Perez tells us more. Conversation is continuing at the state house about a bill that would affect how wildlife rehabilitation looks across the state. God didn't give me a lot of gifts. I can scrape a dead possum off the road and bring it back to life. Beth Sparks has been rehabilitating wildlife for decades, starting out working with veterinarians and eventually starting her own nonprofit for possums. I've always been that way. I've been the kid that um, you had to empty your pockets out when you come in from playing because I had the frog. Now that the South Carolina legislature is discussing a bill that would regulate captive wildlife. He's here. Spark says she's worried about rehabbers and animals throughout the state. I think my issue with the bill, it was really, really vague. We're talking about wild animals, and so, um, you know, there's got to be some sort of oversight, some sort of regulation. Senator Thomas McElveen sits on the Fish, Game, and Forestry Subcommittee, which met on Wednesday to discuss the House's version of the bill. South Carolina is only one of about three states that has zero laws regulating the possession, rehabilitation, and research of native wildlife. And, of course, this led to a number of instances where wildlife is being abused and kept in deplorable conditions, unfortunately. The bill allows the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources to regulate animal rehabilitators. It's a matter of you know, public health and, and public safety and public policy. That's just not a, a real good situation to give no tools at all to, to the Department of Natural Resources where they can actually you know, step in and, and regulate this, this practice. But Sparks, who was an at-home rehabber for 30 years before starting her nonprofit, says she's worried it might set standards that are difficult to reach. To force people to build enclosures and things like that for an in-home rehabber, that's going to be hard. I'm a nonprofit, and it would be difficult for me. I think folks that are that are really doing this the right way probably don't have to worry about the restrictions. It's, it's more the bad actors. I just think this bill needs rewording. I think it needs thought about a little bit more. And I think if the rules and regulations that will be uh, put together by the DNR, let's be part of it. You know, let's sit down and talk. But McElveen says they're in a time crunch to get the bill passed out of the Senate so it can get into conference committee with the House before the end of the legislative session. Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. Well, the Senate subcommittee did pass the Senate version of the bill on the Senate floor today, and Senator McElveen telling us he thinks the Senate will continue working on amendments to the bill before the end of the session, which takes place a week from tomorrow.